Carlos Asmat and welcome to Carlitos Projects where we make cool electronic projects using off-the-shelf products. Today we're going to make a speech-controlled Arduino robot. For this project we're going to be using mm, several parts. Uh, first, the DF RoboShop Rover which is basically an Arduino on tracks. So you see this is the Arduino and these are the tracks and it's powered by four double A's and this Tamiya gearbox. We're going to be using an Arduino Uno, so that's uh, the latest Arduino. This is an IO expansion shield. This goes into the Arduino or the Robot or the DF Robot Rover and uh, basically breaks out a lot of pins, which makes it easier to connect things to it. Uh, an LED. This is a leftover from the uh, RGB LED cube. I'm going to be using two XB modules, an XB shield from um, uh, Sparkfun, the VR speech recognition module, which uh, does all the speech recognition for us, which is very cool. It comes with these little accessories, a uh, microphone and some wires, um, a 9 volt to barrel connector in order to power the Arduino with a 9 volt battery and uh, also we're going to be using a bunch of headers in order to connect this to that Arduino. Uh, the headers are also left over from the LED cube. Basically there are two parts to this project. Uh, there is the robot which uh, will be getting the commands from the speech recognition module. The robot will be getting the command via XB so let's mount the XB, uh, the uh, IO expansion shield into the DF RoboShop Rover and let's put an XB module on it alright um, also we can put an LED this LED will use it um, we connect it to pin 13 and uh, it will be used to just show when the, the uh, robot is understanding the commands so I already bent the pins so basically I put it here and it should light up um, since it's an RGB LED uh, either red, green or blue I choose uh, red for this one so this part was actually very simple and this is done so let's put it aside and let's do the more complex uh, system which is the speech recognition engine um, so first we'll need to connect the um, XB to the Arduino for this we need to uh, assemble this uh, shield. So let's do that. Alright, so we have all the tools we need. Uh, basically a third hand, a soldering iron and some wire cutters. So let's start by cutting the uh, headers to size. You solder one end So the one end, make sure it's sitting flush in the surface, and then solder all the other pins. So we saw that the headers, now we put the XB in, that was easy, and uh, now it's ready to mount on the Arduino. Next step is to connect the VRBOT module. The VRBOT module requires two things, power and uh, communication lines, which are serial communication. Uh, we could wire them directly into the pins but uh, since we have some prototyping area here we can simply put a few headers and connect these wires into the headers and directly into the Arduino pins which will be much neater for that we'll need just four male headers and uh, four wires so let's do that perfect so now we have the headers and let's see um, 
we can define the power to go like so, let me see. So let's say the power goes like this, and the communication goes like this. I'm just defining it randomly, and basically it means I need to connect ground to the first pin, 5 volts to the second, RX and TX. In our software we decided that RX and TX will be pins 11 and 12, so we're going to wire these black and white wires into pin 11 and 12, and these to directly to the 5 volt and ground pin. So we connected the power and uh, the communication lines. So that's done there. So it's ready to be mounted on the Arduino. So there and there. Now we can take the VR bot module and plug the cables in. Let's see my reference. All right. So, black goes on the outside, right, so black goes on the outside, and blue goes, goes on the inside, perfect, there, so we connect the cables like so, and then we can connect the power. So remember we put uh, ground on the outside, and blue on the outside there. So now this is ready to work, uh, but as you can see this is dangling and it's not very good. So we can uh, use a dab of hot glue and stick this to the board. Uh, I don't want to stick it here because it's full of metal and it could conduct and make short circuits. But there is a nice space here in the Arduino which is uh, has no connections except these and we can put uh, some hot glue on that too and basically this can easily mount like this and that's perfect also of course uh, we need to mount the microphone just put it in there and mount the microphone and you're done so let's get the hot glue This might be done and it's fully functional, we just need to plug in the battery and that's perfect. But we want to be a bit more fancy than this. Uh, this is completely optional, but uh, I think it adds uh, a bit of, well, fanciness to the project. Basically, we we'll like to connect a regular headset so we can put it in our heads and talk like so and then the robot will uh, uh, react. This looks much cooler and um, well, uh, we hope it will enhance the uh, speech recognition since uh, this microphone is a bit better quality than this one. Alright, so in order to do this, we need to mount a headphone jack in order to plug this sort of jack uh, into, into there. So we have one here. This can mount directly in the proto board, so let's remove that and let's see how we can mount this. So let's remove this for now. And let's see, we could mount it here on top, but we believe that here at the bottom it looks actually much better. So you can see it could be like this, and then we mount it like so, and then the plug will be directly in line. So let's do that. 
basically we need to solder it. We have this cable, so we'll just cut it, get rid of that, and we use it to connect uh, to the VR bo uh, bot, to the VR bot uh, board through this. So basically, we need to connect this wire and uh, connect the black to that pin and the red to all these line of pins. So for this, we'll jump all these lines of, of pins together. So we'll try to do it by soldering. That will make one big node and now we need to extend this node to uh, the next hole, so until here. So let's do that. Same way. So now we have a big, two big nodes, and we can connect the wire. Let's put it all together. So basically, we have the Arduino with the VR bot uh, on the bottom. We'll put the shield in. We connect just put it there. So we connect the microphone jack into the microphone port. Now we take the wires. Black goes outside. Blue goes inside. So there. And then on this side, we remember that black goes outside and blue goes outside. Now it's all mounted so let's put the headphone and the battery. We connect the microphone into the microphone jack we connect the power and that's it. You have the speech module so basically you can put it on your head and talk to the robot. So let's see the robot now. Robot is here. Perfect. So now we have everything we need. This is going to process the speech and this is going to receive it. The next step will be to program the robots. Um, I'm not going to show that in the video because that's uh, really simple. And we have put uh, all the programs uh, in the uh, project page. So you can download the programs, uh, program the, um, the FRobot Shop Rover and program this Arduino Uno and then you're ready to uh, start controlling so right now let's do a test and see how it works with the speech control move left move left move left move backwards Stop. Move. Left. Move. Forward. Stop. Move. Left. Move. Left. Move. Left. Move. Forward. Alright, so we're done with the project. Basically, we have the DF Robot Rover, which is now able to receive commands via XB. It's also able to show that it understood the command uh, using this LED. And we have the speech recognition module. Basically, where it takes the sound commands from the microphone, interprets them via the um, via, uh, speech recognition module, and then the Arduino is able to send the commands via XB to the rover. It's uh, very nice, it's lots of fun. I hope you enjoy the project, and once again, I am Carlos Asmat, and this was Carlitos Projects.